With its really useful intelligent search features, easy to access sound effect packs, both free and paid, simple customization of the sound effect that you want to add to your video, and even the surprisingly incredible free version that they offer, this sound app will seriously change the way that you create sound design in your videos. I'm Dylan John, and the app in question is called Soundly. Because I've been loving using this app, I reached out to the awesome team over at Soundly, and they were kind enough to say yes to sponsoring this video. So big thanks to them. So Soundly lets you easily add all of your own sound effects to the app, either from your computer, or you can keep the sound effects on Google Drive, Dropbox, or somewhere in the cloud, and the app will access them directly from there. So if you're someone whose computer is constantly running out of space, then this cloud feature will really be handy for you. It also has a big collection of free sounds that you can quickly download. For example, this sound effect pack alone has 100,000 different sounds, that you can use in your videos. And if you want to purchase some different packs, the app has a built-in shop that lets you pick up different high quality sound effect packs for your edit. And they're constantly adding more. I've struggled to find sound effect packs to pick up for video creation. Maybe you're the same. And this has just made my life so much easier with everything available in one app. But one of the big things that has changed the game for me are the intelligent search features and organization options. My editing software of choice is Final Cut Pro, and the search capabilities for sound effects in it are pretty trash. If I have a sound effect that I want to look up and I don't perfectly type in the right name, or maybe I forget a specific word, then that sound effect will not show up. With the thesaurus option on, Soundly shows me all the different options that it knows I'm looking for, even if I don't type in the right thing. So by typing in aircraft, it'll show you sounds for planes, fighter jet sounds, even this sound simply labeled Hercules, which is actually the sound of a C-130 Hercules plane. It's just not labeled properly. So even if what you search for may not be precise by any means, Soundly knows what you're looking for and it gives you all the right options. You can shuffle the sounds so you can instantly see a fresh set of sounds at the top of the list. And with the smart sword feature on, new sounds that you don't use that often will always be shown to you at the top of the list. So if you're someone who always uses the same one or two whoosh sounds in your videos, am I on the money here for you? Then Soundly will push those whooshes to the bottom of the list and show you all the new options that you don't use that often. On the flip side, you can favorite different sounds that you like so you can access them easier and know which sounds of yours are the gems. This is a feature that I desperately wish was in Final Cut Pro. And on top of that, you can make collections. So let's say you're making a travel video. You'd add a bunch of sound effects that you like to that collection, and now every time that you make a travel video, you have a huge list of all the sounds that will come in handy. This shaves off so much time and hassle while editing. With a few adjustments, these search features get even more intelligent though. Kind of like how your dad thinks that watching more news will make him even smarter, except these search features actually do get more intelligent. Soundly has a built-in translation feature, so if you speak another language and you don't quite know the name of the sound effect that you need exactly, you can adjust the language settings, type in the word in your language, and the app will show you the sounds that you're looking for in English or whatever language you want the result to be. If you're from a non-English speaking country, then this in particular makes the app worth it. Another great feature of the app is that you can keep up multiple tabs to make your time searching much easier and more organized. So I could have whoosh sounds up, another tab for room tones and a tab for hits all ready to be accessed. Yet another way to speed up your time editing. If the features I've mentioned so far aren't tickling your toes, is that a phrase? <laughs> then the different ways that you can adjust sound effects might. Do you want to speed up or slow down a sound effect with the click of a button? All it takes is a really easy slider adjustment. I constantly am changing sound effects from stereo to mono in Final Cut Pro because I don't really want a sound effect sounding like it's changing directions when you're listening to my videos. And in Final Cut Pro, this process of going into the inspector window and stuff is just annoying and time consuming. With Soundly though, you just press the shortcut M for mono or you click M on your quick action menu down here and your stereo sound effect will instantly be switched to mono. You guys will like this one a lot, I think. So have you ever had a sound effect that's either too loud or too quiet and you have to take the time to level it out in your editing software? Well, in Soundly, you just have to press this normalize button or hit the shortcut Command N. 
and now the volume of your sound effect has been leveled out to a good volume. It is literally one button that you need to press. Check this out as well. So let's say I want this range of this sound effect, but I know that if I bring it into my editing software, I'll then have to add some audio crossfades so that the sound effect doesn't start and stop abruptly. In Soundly, you just hit the fade in and out button, and those fades will automatically be applied to that range once you bring the sound effect into your software. It's the speed at which you can make little adjustments like these that will help you to speed up your time editing sound quite a lot. Another great feature is what they call Place It, which lets you select from a large list of different locations so that the sound effects sound like they're playing out in those different locations. For example, I'll just find a sound effect of some people chatting, we will switch the setting to neighbor's TV so it sounds like it's coming from the apartment next door. And now we have a sound effect that sounds like my annoying neighbor is playing their TV loudly or talking loudly. And we can quickly bring this adjusted sound effect into our editing software. There's also an EQ built directly into the app. So if you wanna shape your sound effect yourself, you can do so. As you've seen, bringing the sound effect into your editing software is as easy as just dragging it in but of course, you can also drag it to different folders so you have that adjusted sound effect for later. And you can use the dock mode so you can see your editing interface, drag the sound effect up to your timeline, and quickly get back to finding another sound effect. Lastly, there are a bunch of different built-in export options that will have the sound effect immediately placed into your software. What is so wild about this app is that the awesome people over at Soundly offer an insanely good free option with no strings attached. Using my code in the description and comments, no credit card is needed and you get free access to all of these Soundly features, the Soundly free sound effects library and space for 10,000 sound effects to be added to the app. So basically everything we went over, you can have for free and no credit card is needed to be put on file. The only thing they require is your soul. Kidding. <laughs> this is seriously a shockingly amazing free option. Some of you might be saying, well then what is the difference between the paid plan and the free plan? The the paid plan lets you add as many sound effects as you want to the app. So if you have a lot, this is where this would come in handy. You also get the full Soundly Pro library, which is a massive collection of sounds. You get free add-ons and 10 gigabytes of cloud storage, and you get unlimited voice designer downloads, which is basically just a text-to-speech feature that lets you choose from different voices. I'm a GPS voice in a car telling you to drive right and left. I wasn't super impressed with this feature, so I kind of skipped over it, but it is not crazy to think that the team over at Soundly will update this feature to be as good as Artless new AI voiceover feature. This app has made me love sound design even more than I already did, and to say that it sped up my time editing is an understatement. Use my code below to pick up either the free or paid version, and let me know what your favorite feature of Soundly is in the comments. Have a great rest of your day, guys.